start the battle. Wax on in brackets. Win. Now what I love to see is uh, Gakumairari's Mario come back out. Mario versus Sonic. Ah uh, yes, Battle of Titans. Two icons of gaming history. And Sonic is winning? Don't say it ain't. Say it ain't so. Sega does what Nintendo don't and apparently it's a win. Alright, we're not bringing that jump. You know, seeing Sonic on the screen reminds me. I was talking with uh, I was talking with Ken 109 about ways Sonic could be oh. better implemented into Smash. Yeah. And the one immediate thing I thought of is side B just needs to be completely removed. But because like that's the toxic one. That's the one with invincibility frames. That's the one that gets you all the combos. Yeah. Whatever. But we were thinking, what the heck do we replace it with? And as if by clear, some act of clairvoyance on Twitter, someone did a mock-up of Sonic having Sonic Wind as his side B. And it looks really good. Oh! He just basically does an attack in place and it makes a little tornado upwards. It looks really good. I was just going to say, give him a, a go-kart. Give him a go-kart? Yeah, yeah, you know, a reference to, uh, you know, yeah, Sonic, Sonic Racing. Sonic R. No, Sonic R would just be him. I'm just saying, that. The animation looked really cool, so because <laughs> usually modded animations don't look very good, but this one was smooth looking. Yeah, modders are really doing good work, but so Supersonic right here, not letting Gakumairari get back for free. Yeah, I don't think this is a good matchup here for Gakumairari. She is gonna have to bring out another character for this. Well, this is a known hard match. Oh, oh! This is a known hard matchup for Mario. That's Super Mario to you. That's right. And he's not even wearing his uh, his outdoor clothes. He's wearing a wedding outfit. That's right, because he's wedding the idea to uh, going to the blast zone. Well, so what do we see here as a counter pick? I'm not as interested in the counter pick. Retired. No one retires from Smash. <laughs> the game will retire before you do. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're all tired. Tired of seeing Sonic get away with this. Well, let's see how Sonic. Let's see how Super Sonic can do against uh, Vaughn's best character. Because it's hard. Duck Hunt is a very, very big knowledge check, and you got to be able to pass that knowledge check. It's not, a, it's not enough to good character against Duck Hunt. Like, Duck Hunt will rip any character apart, no matter who they are, if you don't have the knowledge checks yes, on lockdown. Yeah, they do thirsty hounds. Which is, like, interesting, because there's a lot of other gimmicky characters where I feel like good characters can good character their way into the dub without knowing what to do about the gimmick. But no, Duck Hunt, like, says no to that. You have to know what to do, which is interesting. Makes it an interesting anti-meta pick in some regards. Uh-oh, Jesus Christ. Just like that, looks like Super Sonic's gonna have to brush up on this Vaughn review. Oh, that's, that's oh. death, that's death. 
unfortunate. Duck Hunt's clay pitch has a ton of length of uh, ending lag. If you throw that off stage like that, you die. Well, it's okay. You know what? We're, just, we're doing this just for uh, the content. Make sure content? that's a closer game than we would think. Oh, no hit. Didn't believe in it. Oh, yeah. Another these can conversions on point as always. Supersonic now kind of uh, in the backseat here. Not able to land. And what, once he does, is, you know, he's getting some good combos here. But not enough to really close this gap. We're starting to see all those spin dashes not being able to muscle through everything. The can, the clay pigeon, the, the gunman. Can. The can will explode on contact with Sonic, even if he's in the middle of a side B. So it is a very effective anti-spin dash tool. I'm sorry, spin charge tool. No. Spin charge, spin dash. They, they all have him rolling up into a ball. Yeah. Dash attack. All right, got a chance for an edge guard. It, that, that's hard, too, because Duck Hunt's doing can on the way back. Okay, uh oh down air? As well? yeah, oh, play yeah. down air. The tough part is getting the second one. Oh, that's a kill. OK. Uh, yet, that yet. was a free forward smash, but he didn't want it. Nah, who just throws that forward smash in neutral like that? That was a whip play pigeon. Oh, that's a kill. Very nice. Okay, and closer than we think here. Supersonic just has to keep going in. Uh oh. Let me look at the actual frame data for that. How much cooldown does. Alright, jumping over the clay pigeon. Saving himself one last time. But down throw into the can. That's pretty much what you have to do. You have to run up shield, run up shield. Okay, Clay Pigeon is still there. You have to be afraid. And no dash attack from Gotham Irari. Alright, forward tilt. That is death. That is death. Bond takes game two. Alright, what is what is going on? But here we go, we're back to PS2. Enough space for Sonic to run around at the speed of sound, but also a lot of space for Gotham Irari to play with as well. I camp underneath these platforms and set up traps. All right, I've got your clay pigeon frame data. Oh yeah? The entire animation is 64 frames total. That? If that misses you completely, kill Duck Hunt. That's right, free punish. And like we saw, if Duck Hunt accidentally throws it out off stage, they're probably dead. The Supersonic at 169. The well, good thing is Duck Hunt does not have any kill throws. Well, they sort of do. Well, it's got to confirm it to a can. Yep. I mean, that's sort of. That's a setup, not a kill throw. Oh, oh tried the one of the Bandito to get that shot. Boing. Yeah. Bounce All it against right. the stage, keep it stalled. That's a classic. Here comes the can. Yeah, okay, can covering everything on the bottom. Oh, he was only getting hit though. Like pigeon. Oh. Still make it back though. <laughs> See what I mean about that cooldown? Yes. It's a free punish. Yeah, it's why I would say when you're fighting Duck Hunt and you're sort of at mid-range, using jumps a lot is like a good strategy because if you happen to jump and Clay Pigeon comes out at that moment, you can just go in and usually get your character's down air. Yes. Unless you have a really shitty down air. Super Sonic finally getting that first kill. Indeed. But now has to contend with everything else. Oh, that almost killed. Oh, all right. I get some low percent damage here. I'd say using Spin Dash again with Clay Pigeons. Oh, that's a kill. Uh-oh. Never mind. Oh. Almost confirmed it too. Boing. 
this. Oh my gosh. Oh, power shield's the clay pigeon. I like that. Oh! <laughs> Just rolls back into the camp. Oh, I respect that. Is that going to work? No. But... What do we got here? What's your answer? Oh, the answer good. just dash attack through it. Alright, this is Super Sanic's last opportunity here for this game. It is best of five. So he does have another one to work with and he loses it. But, do you really want to go more games against Spawn? Oh! We have a surprise guest. Surprise! He's on the schedule! Surprise. <laughs> surprise, he's here. <laughs> well, we're glad you're here, Supersonic. Supersonic is Sorry, even we're, we're, we're glad Sonic Bean. <laughs> I have Supersonic on the screen here. There's a Sonic on screen. That's right. <laughs> literally, literally the first thing I heard when I stepped in was copious amounts of spin dash. I'm like, hmm, <laughs> this far in the bracket? That's probably a good sign. There's two of them! Two! There's You're two welcome. Sonics out here. My God. A happy Saturday for you. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Saturday. And welcome to the Sonics, Sonic team. Yes, Sonic sir. Saturday. So, Sonic has a game on fun. Was she, did she start Duck Hunt? Mario. No, she started Mario. Super Mario. You know how fun is. Yeah, she likes to warm up with a secondary. Big trouble me. That's what she is. Mm. Things aren't looking too hot, though. As long as you're making good trouble. Oh, practically, even now. Practically. Is he's gonna get this confirmed? No. Oh, did the. What was that? That was. That was. That was instant jump spin charge. So if you. So basically, with Sonic's down B, if you're in the air, if you don't match it and just hold the button and let go, he'll fall down at a very. Slow pace. That's interesting. Yeah, very interesting trajectory. You, you've seen me use it sometimes. Now, something I do want to mention, and I'm not sure if either of them noticed. Oh. No, you're alive. Barely. Barely. I'll mention it after the game. Yeah. Uh oh. oh. Ooh, four tilt. Not gonna get it. Oh. You sh oh, oh. Wait. Yeah, okay, you cleaned it up. Beautiful setup. I was wow. about to say, you probably should have exploded for that. Yeah, let's. Like that's happening. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, you were saying? Um, with it exploded immediately, and he only took like a couple damage and yeah. was able to act before Fawn was. And I'm wondering if Supersonic actually noticed what happened, because that seems like it would be very important for the matchup, doing a spin into Clay Pigeon and just kind of neutralizing it. Yeah, so that type of spin charge can actually beat most projectiles. Not the, not the super duper strong ones, but... Things like Clay Pigeon, it will do minimal, if any, damage to the Sonic main himself. Ooh, yeah, I'm saying he should use Spin Dash a lot then in that case. If he's only taking... Yeah, he only takes two damage from that. Ooh, if he blows it up himself. Uh-oh. I didn't know that. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh-oh. That's a pretty bad position. Oh, Good back alive. here. Oh, that was a... That was a spring with... Oh, we tech what a tech. There. Still Finally, active. someone who texts at this venue. Hey, I teched. I'm glad. You and like nobody That's why else. still in winners. I assume. Shot. Didn't you see when I took that Pikachu forward air at like 150 and suspected? I don't know how that was not untackable. Forward air isn't that strong. Yeah, anyway. Pika fair is not super de duper powerful. Big damage. I like the. Wait. Uh oh. oh okay. No, no, no. Oh, she went super deep. <laughs> she wall jumped. Yeah. Oh. Who knew the dogs could wall jump? I didn't. And they're, they're agile creatures, that I'm sure. It depends on the breed. Well, th this one goes hunting, like, canonically with, you know, with a hunter for sport. I assume this particular breed is agile enough. That's true, that's true. Finally they're they're going to have to wall jump off of a tree to get that duck. Or this hedgehog, in this case. Mm -hmm. 
Now the question is this... Oh dear. This Super Sonic know, you know, the rate at which the Gundam fires. Well, he's learning on the fly and doing a good job of that. He's always been a quick learner. Oh, goodness. But he is quicker on his feet than learning. Mm -hmm. So I just want to briefly call attention to Vinny getting top 12. You'll love to see it. Yeah, right now he is struggling against Sourdough. Good on Fawn for going super low. That's not... Oh, unless we miss the tag. Ooh, okay. Okay, you need to be, like, closer to the ledge. Otherwise... Or that. All right, 63%. Honestly, not terrible. It's just a spin. Okay, now now it's a little worse. But let's say a couple spin charge nears away, and that's still cool. Okay, definitely made contact with the shot going off. Oh, reverse! Oh, he. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Ooh. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Honestly, he's making the right plays. Okay. It's Basically. definitely a matchup where you'd want to use down B a lot more just because of the amount of things coming at you. When Spin Dash releases, side B that is, when it releases, it has to go to a set trajectory first before you're able to move around. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm uh -oh. surprised. Okay, that's good. All right, well, no surprise here. Gakumabari taking a 3-1. I, I would like to see uh, Vinny and Sarah, though. Well done.